Hey guys, Gungeon Pit, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Shut up, Iona. <laughs> I'm doing an introduction. Right, uh, we're back in Honeyside. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, we returned the lexicon to Avanchel um, as part of a quest we got from Fathom, um, a rather distressed Argonian in Riften. And uh, what I'm going to do on this episode is going to be a bit lacking in action, but it's something that needs to be done. Uh, as you know, um, I'm really... Uh, hating this whole uh, steady hand perk I think it is from the archery tree the one that slows down time this one here steady hand um, zooming in with the bow slows time by 25% um, I really can't stand it so I want to get rid of it so what I thought I'd do is um, as we're using legendary and uh, archery quite a lot I might as well turn it into a legendary skill now the problem with that is obviously we're going to drop from 100 to 15 and that's really going to affect my uh, damage output um, but we've got quite a lot of little uh, lesser quests that we could be getting on with um, until I build up my archery skills once more. Um, just to check, I think we still have the warrior, oh, the warrior stones activated. So we need to go change that to the... Um, what was it called again? Oh, mine's gone blank. That's not good. Thief stone, that's one. We need to get the thief stone activated so we can start building up our... Um, our archery again uh, but what I thought I'd do first of all obviously we're going to take a big hit to our damage output so I thought we might as well mix some um, bow damage potions so to do that first of all I'm going to equip my um, better alchemy gear which we crafted in, a, in an earlier episode so here we go um, created potions are now 22% more powerful uh, and all you need to do that is uh, a necklace gloves a hat of some sort I mean I just got this cap but it could be any old helmet and a ring, so uh, they're all equipped, so let's get this done. So, uh, 45 marksmen, that's the one we're making. I've already picked up the ingredients we have. I only had 20 juniper berries. So, juniper berries and elves here. You can add in garlic if you want to regenerate health, but I'm not really bothered. And as you can see, bows will now do 108% more damage for 60 seconds. So, I'm going to craft 20 of these, because uh, we're going to be needing them. So, hold on one second. Excellent. Uh, I've also got a Troll's Fat, which we took from on our journey to Avanchel, and also a Daedric Heart, um, which we collected on our travels. So that's that as well. Um, we're a bit overweight at the moment, because uh, I also picked up some smithing gigs. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go first to um, Riverwood and basically train with Farandal. And the reason I've picked Riverwood is because we also have a smithing station nearby because um, buying the training at this level might not mean that we automatically level up every time we hit um, five levels of training. So I might have to um, just bump us up a level by smithing some items like arrows or uh, leather braces or whatever. But I'm a bit weighted down, so hold on one second. I'm just going to ditch some stuff. Um... Because obviously I went a bit crazy just picking up. Actually, we're not that bad. Maybe if I leave the uh, the alchemy gear. Honor to see you again, my friend. That's nice, Ona. That's really nice. <laughs> Good to know. So uh, let's ditch our uh, alchemy gear. So first of all, as, as you can see, we've also got um, our bow damage does thirty five percent more damage, and that's uh, four times as well. So that's gonna help us a little bit. Because uh, what I don't want to do is re resort to the beginning of this series. If you remember where even mud crabs, we had a real difficulty taking down until we got our archery level to a sufficient level. Uh, I don't want to go back to that. So I want to try and do this the quick way. And you can see our carry weight's now at 518. So we're good to fast travel. So uh, let's get it done. Excellent. It's daytime, so that's good. Now the first thing we need is a smelter. Unfortunately, Riften doesn't actually have a smelter which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so we might as well go to Windhelm because we do have a uh, numbers job to do there in the Candle Hearth Barrow. So if I remember correctly, where is it? Totally lost now. As you can see, it's been ages since I've played this. Let's go to Windhelm and uh, we'll do the numbers job. We'll go use a smelter at the smithing station and then we'll get over to, River uh, to the um, Standing Stones and from there, Riverwood. So bear with me a second. Okay, is it night time? It is, so 
Let's just wait till daytime, just because otherwise there might be a vampire attack and it might take out someone we need. So hold on one second. Okay, it's morning time, so let's activate. Oops. Let's activate the. Whoa, that's spooky. It's moving on its own. <laughs> okay, uh, numbers job. Here we go. Make changes to the Candle Hearth Hall ledger. So we'll do that. I basically activated the quest so I can find the ledger easily. And the ledger's through here. I made my fortune as a son, but now I'm retired. Ooh, we've got to be careful. Where is it? Excellent. Like I said, I did a numbers job, so not the most glamorous, but they are quick and easy, so... That's why I do them, because it doesn't matter if someone's watching you, uh, you don't have to wait till a certain time of day to do it. You can just go in, grab it, and away you go. So let's see if there's any uh, ore that we've picked up that we can maybe turn into something useful. And uh, it doesn't... Oh, gold? Yeah, we're going to need those. So we'll do that, because I'm going to basically craft a lot of jewellery as well uh, to help increase snimithing. Um, one of the good things about returning the lexicon is that um, it should also increase smithing 15% faster. Um, so that's quite good. So that's all the ore done. Uh, next on the list, uh, we need to go to the, thief, uh, the standing stones and hook up the thieves stone. So uh, we might as well... Am I totally lost again? <laughs> Ugh, bear with me. Uh, dun, dun, dun. It's around here somewhere. There it is. So yeah. The plan for this episode is Guardian Stone, we might as well run along to Riverwood um, and yeah let's get it done. Alright so here we are at the Thief Stone, so first things first, let's activate it. That will basically give you a 20% boost to all uh, sneak skills and um, bizarrely Archery is actually classed as a Thief skill as well, so that's kind of good. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the time as we're running along here can we kill we might as well yeah why not let's go psycho on this uh, unfortunate bandit just for the hell of it there's no real reason just because I like to do it oh and you got paralyzed as well I think but anyway take all that because we can sell it thank you so yeah, there's no real reason to do that, just because uh, I felt like it. And yeah, while we're on our way to uh, Riverwood, I just thought I'd um, fill you guys in on a couple of things. Um, as you probably noticed, uh, this video isn't on the weekend, it should be. I, had, I actually missed my uh, publishing window. I've been trying to basically publish uh, the Skyrim episodes at least uh, once, a, once a day. Uh, but to be honest, I've, I've just started a new job and um, you know until I get settled in it is quite hard going at first because quite a lot of things to take in um, it's to do with uh, SharePoint I don't know if any of you guys know what that is it's basically a data management system so it's quite technical my job and you know there's quite a lot of things I'm learning um, so to be honest I just get home my brain is just mashed <laughs> to be fair so I just don't really feel like playing so I've not been recording as many uh, Skyrim episodes as I used to which results in the fact that I just haven't had any content to put out there and I don't want to just rush it out you know as you know I, I tend to um, I'm making this in an actual walkthrough rather than just a blind let's play so you know I do tend to experiment on the, the quests first of all to see you know which ones are interesting to do which ones are fun that kind of thing uh, I don't just blindly go into it um, and yeah, that's one reason. Another reason, obviously, um, Borderlands has come to an end now, the main quest line anyway. Uh, I've still got the DLCs pending, um, and hopefully I will bring those guys, those to you guys, because um, up until this point, my uh, my Borderlands series was actually a walkthrough, because I, I had actually played it quite a lot. Um, so you know, I knew where the best weapons were, I knew pretty much how to take out most of the bad guys, apart from... Mad Mel, who just always seems to be the, the hardest boss in that game. I don't know why, he's just really difficult. Um, 
but now basically what's going to happen is uh, we're going into DLC territory and I've never played them to be honest I mean I've had this game I don't know two two years maybe maybe three and while it is embarrassing to admit I haven't actually ever played any of the DLCs I've had them I've just never sat down and gone through them so I figured I might as well do that with you guys along for the ride because uh, it'll be quite interesting for both of us and um, me because it's you know obviously brand new so you'll see how I actually play games um, from the outset without any prior knowledge uh, but again it's time I, I just don't know how I'm going to get the time so what I might do and uh, you know this is really important your feedback so you know if, you, if you've got time please let me know in the comments below uh, but would you actually be bothered if I went back to my original uh, five videos a week schedule um, just because like I say you know it's, it's taking a lot of time to edit these right now there's a lot of stuff going on at home as well um, I recently moved back from Spain uh, my girlfriend's still in Spain at the moment so you know we're kind of organizing I'm trying to get a job so I get some money so we can buy a house and that kind of thing um, also you know my brother's he's expecting a baby in uh, January so you know he's moved out uh, which means you know I've been helping him get ready and organize that kind of thing so you know basically by the time just being eaten up by other things so I've not had enough time to even just play for myself um, the same with YouTube videos I'm quite a big supporter of quite a lot of channels um, but I just haven't had time guys so you know if you're kind of <laughs> wondering where my views have gone on your videos uh, don't worry about it I have got them all pending I'm just trying to see them as and when I can really um, and you know hopefully I'll get through them all because uh, I follow quite a lot of really good people uh, you know I don't just sub for sub kind of thing I hate that whole philosophy um, but anyway I've babbled on enough let's get on with the job at hand and that is um, Feindale first of all because uh, we can train five times this level so you know we might as well do that where is the little elf hello not him and um, he's normally around here somewhere and it might be a little bit early for him actually I'll put the bow away as well so <laughs> we're not going to get attacked by a dragon or vampires in Riverwood although I have seen one playthrough by a guy called Gobsy Wobsy and uh, basically the whole of Riverwood got totaled um, by a combined vampire and dragon attack I think it was which is kind of fun um, but yeah so we're in uh, tank mode so obviously the bow is going to have to come out And we need to go find this elf. Um, he's normally around here, but it is early. So, what I might do while I'm waiting, and obviously I'm not going to do it, so you don't have to go. You guys don't have to sit through it. Uh, I'm going to chop some firewood because my plan is to. Um, we're going to make some dwarven arrows just to use up the dwarven ingots that we found, and I'm also going to make some um, some more glass arrows because we have the malachite, so we might as well use it. And we can always get more from um, Kynes Grove if we need it. It's just lying around. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video, obviously, here. Because you don't want to be watching me <laughs> cut wood. And, uh, oh, she's going to do it anyway. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys. So I've chopped the wood that I needed. And uh, there's Farindale. So let's get it done with the training. Wood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. Oops. Hang on. Mm -hmm, until next time. One second. <laughs> First, I need to reset archery. So let's make it legendary. Yes. Yes. You be. So as you can see, archery is now down to 15. And our bow damage, which was at 300 and something, um, is now, well, it's not bad, 138. Um, but we need to improve that. So let's speak to our man. There's beauty. I'll show you what I know. And I know that I can just uh, make him a follower, go into his items and recoup the, the money. But I mean, check it out. We've got 157,000 gold, so I'm not really too bothered, to be honest, about money. Uh, but let's see. Let's get it done five times. Okay, and as you can see, we still haven't leveled up. Um, our damage, our bow damage, has now gone up to 141 from 138. Until mm, next time. Uh, but this is a problem. 
that we're going to have now getting um, our archery level back to where it was. I mean, I'm not going to go up to 100. Um, I just don't have the patience. We might as well learn out in the field again. But I want to get it up to at least around um, 75, which we can do uh, with Farndale up to 50. Uh, and then we can just call in on um, the Thieves Guild and the trainer there's a master trainer. He could take us up to, um, I think, 75, maybe... Is it 75 or is it 90? I can never remember. Um, but I don't want to go that far with him. You know, we'll, we'll do it out and about. Um, however, to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to take these iron ingots as well because they're just lying there, um, which is nice. Steel ingots I'm not too bothered about. But what we can do is let's start crafting some items. And the first thing we're going to craft is um, some dwarven arrows because we have the 11 metal ingots we picked up in Avonchel, so we might as well turn them into arrows um, just again just to help increase smithing. So, one second. May the gods watch over your bat, friend. Okay, and we also have some uh, refined malachite which you can get from, uh, I think it's. I can't remember what the name of it is. It's in uh, Kynesgrove, the, the mine there. You just go in and it's lying around. There's no monsters or anything to kill. Uh, you can just go in and mine to your heart's content. So again, uh, these are going to be our anti-dragon arrows. So we might as well make uh, 20 of these. And I've got one firewood left, so we might as well just make some iron arrows. What the hell? Okay, so actually what I am going to do we're a bit, a bit light now, so we can actually move around a little bit. I'm actually going to sleep at the inn as well. Actually, no, I don't even have to sleep at the inn. There's a bedroll from the, the guard. So we'll go here, we'll sleep, because that'll increase our uh, speed of experience as well by 5%. Uh, just for an hour, doesn't matter. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, next up we need to smith some mugs. What we need to do is level up, obviously, and it's taking a lot longer than it would do. So I'll probably have to reset uh, smithing again, but that doesn't really bother me too much because it's you no know, smithing's probably one of the easiest things. Oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> you can tell this has been ages since I've played this. Right, uh, we have a load of pelts um, of various animals. You know, goat hide, wolf pelts, ice wolf, fox, you know, just stuff we've been picking up as we've been wandering around Skyrim. So let's get all this turned into leather. Alrighty, so I've got tons of leather now, and uh, let's start crafting. Um, actually, let's just start with the jewelry. Makes more sense. So, um, what can we make? That, that's worth a lot. So I'm basically going in order of value, for obvious reasons. So we'll start with this. Okay, because uh, it just basically increases smithing a lot faster. I need to get smithing to 100 so we can reset that as well, and then it'll help us level up Whatever you need. a lot quicker, hopefully. I've got tons of gold, so it's not a problem. fine so all we've got left is gold rings so I might as well make a few of these so we can use them for enchanting and gold necklaces so I'm gonna make rings because we get two for each bar of ingots so that makes more sense and it's worth more than one gold necklace so oh hang on smithing's already gone up so one second skills Smithing, smithing, there it is. Legendary, yes, yes. As you can see, uh, we've now done that twice. I'm not actually sure what the limit is on how many times you can do this, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> um, and the good thing is, leather is one of the standard things as well, so it's not a problem. Um, let's bang out some more gold rings. Let's use up all the gold ingots we've got. 
And again, we're going off value, so um, make these. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna be making that. And that's that for jewellery. So it's back to the old favourite, leather braces. Okay, so we leveled up. Uh, let's go do that now straight away. Um, what should we put it into? Yeah, let's tank health. Let's go to Farndale. Do some more training. Come on. Where's the little elf? over here uh, yeah this is basically um, the plan but like I say I'm not going to make you sit through it um, all I'm going to do is uh, run up to Farandar do the training and then carry on smithing to try and level up again and then just repeat the process uh, but I'm going to do this off camera as I say, it's not very interesting to watch and you pretty much know what I'll be doing anyway now. Uh, it's nothing too exciting, just basically using up all the resources that we've gathered so far, um, turning it into useful stuff, Riverwoods. and then spending it on training. So we could do it five more times. So archery is now up to 25. Uh, bow's up to 144. And that's that's with our special armor that adds a bonus on it. So you know it's gonna. <laughs> we're not out of the woods just yet. But like I say, I'm gonna uh, call it here, guys, because um, what I'll be doing is just flitting between smithing. I may have to go back to Honeyside for more resources, which we have stored away, because uh, it's taking a lot longer. Obviously, because I'm a high-level character now, it does take a heck of a long time to actually level up. Whereas early on in the game, you know, you can whiz up. I mean, you saw it yourself. It was quite easy. You know, you train just five times and you have to level up again. And uh, now it's going to take a lot more work. <clears throat> but I'm going to try and do it as much as I can and see how close we get to to the 70 mark in, or at least 50. I'll be happy with 50 in archery right now. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Uh, so we've got a couple of jobs to do in and around Riverwood as well. Uh, we're going to go clear out a, um, a grotto of wolves. So that'd be that could be quite a good test of our, our lower bow damage and yeah um, i hope you enjoyed the episode like i say uh, i will be from now on just re uh, releasing videos five times a week um i'll be taking the weekends off just to you know record and edit um it's, it's the only really free time i have at the moment to do things because in the week it's just it's just too much at the moment uh, you know i do have to sleep as well uh, and like i say as well i do try to see as many of your your own youtube videos as possible so, you know, if you've got a channel and you think I might be interested in it and I'm not subscribed already, you know, just drop me um, a message or Twitter or whatever and I will check out your channel. I mean, I'm no expert myself, <laughs> but, you know, um, if, if you value my opinions, let me know and I'll definitely be checking it out. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. For now, though, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and peace. <laughs>